Um, so gang, over the weekend, Iran attacked Israel. Okay. So we're going to just do a simple distance time calculation. This is like, for me, if I was doing this type of mathematics, uh, trying to teach someone where you could use math in the real world, this would be on a level of grade eight or grade nine math. It's not one of the distance time problems that I would use for grade 11 or grade 12 or even grade 10, right? What we're going to do right now is grade eight level mathematics. Okay. So keep that in mind. Don't be overwhelmed by it because it's going to be data coming your way, but there's only two, two pieces of data you need from the whole thing, which is what happens in mathematics um, where, where you're doing problems. You have to sometimes you get a lot of data coming your way and you have to be able to distinguish which data is important to you to do a certain calculation so one of the main things that we try to do in mathematics or we do in mathematics is um figure out what we need to answer the questions right so we don't get lost in the complexity of it all we try to simplify things right Couch yo yoga, you're actually Lebanese. Salutations to Lebanon. Now check this out. This is, let's say this is Israel. Okay. Let's say this is destination B. Okay. This is Iran. This is destination A. So this is just a simple A to B problem, right? Traveling from A to B. Now the distance from Iran to Israel, the shortest distance is about a thousand kilometers from center of Iran to center of Israel is around 1700 kilometers, 1800 kilometers, right? And so Iran is bigger than Israel, right? Iran is actually 75 times bigger than Israel, right? So Iran is 75 times bigger than Israel. How are we going to put this? 75 times. Doo -doo 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 well, I didn't figure out how we're going to do this. Let's say Iran 75 times, oops, 75 times bigger. And this is if this is a unit of one, right? So 75 times bigger. So you could place your military assets a lot of places in Iran. Well, Israel doesn't have as much land space to place their military assets, right? Let's say the distance is between 1000 kilometers to 1800 kilometers okay between iran and israel okay that's important because that's our distance distance okay the formula we need to do this calculation is velocity is equal to distance over time right deep flakes how you doing yo uh okay so velocity or speed and speed is the scalar version of velocity right velocity indicates direction as well but we're just going in one direction we don't care so speed is equal to distance over time okay so that's the formula we need i should use different colors so we have speed is distance over time okay distance over time that's the that's the only formula we need that's the only formula we need okay smith how you doing we're doing uh, the calculation of iran's mathematics of iran's attack on israel right so that's the distance now i got some with the help of real xenomorph on our gilded server he posted some data on uh the type of missiles that iran used on their attack drones and uh, missiles that Iran used um, on retaliating against Israel's attack on their embassy and consulate. Okay. Um, and I looked up some articles. One was from RT and they gave pretty good uh, indication of what might have been used because Iran, again, hasn't stated exactly what they used. But everybody agrees that they sort of used a lot of old tech, the especially the drones. So they had drones sitting in warehouses. They sent all those there, not all, but a few hundred. Go, so it was it was sort of a uh, it, it was very 
what do you call it? When you're throwing a punch or projecting a punch, it was very dramatic, very Hollywoodish to a certain degree. Because one aspect of war is morality. Uh, not mo well, morality the really doesn't come. This one had it, but um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not morality, but uh, uh, motivation. Uh, Oliver, what do you call it? Uh, mo not more. <laughs> forget the name for it. Uh, the where where soldiers and people, uh, you know, they get not f duped, but they they have a high belief in what they are doing, right? I'm pretty sure someone will come up with the word and post it and I'll say it, right? So it was a very uh, dramatic uh, event that took place because over this distance, right, there are multiple countries there. Morale, morale, thank you. I got stuck with morals. Thank you very much, Deflake. So there's huge morale involved in this, in war. Huge, huge. Thank you, Spencer, on SensorTube as well, right? Because if you got role patriotism yeah morale more more right morale because if you got a role low morale from a military that's fighting a military with high morale that military most likely is going to win right so you got to keep in mind if this is iran this is israel you have iraq you got jordan oops you got syria you got Saudi Arabia, right? You have four countries that I believe drones flew over, right? Flew over. Salutations. Wait, is this math? Geography? This is uh, the mathematics of Iran's attack on Israel uh, for the question on uh, Twitch. Okay. So just imagine being in one of those countries, knowing the history of the region and watching hundreds of drones, right? And these drones were called the Shahad. Here, we'll write it down here. Shahad 136 and 236. Okay. By all accounts, these were two of the drones that were used okay these were two of the drones that were used morale of the troops yeah All right and the stats for these drones and i don't know what they look like they look like planes i guess so these are the shahads these would be planes All right let's do a little box okay here's the stats for them they have a range of 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers. So easily cover this distance. From the furthest edge of Iran, they would still reach Israel, right? So range is 2,500 kilometers. They carry 50 kilogram load, right? They can carry 50 kilogram load. They travel at 158 kilometers per hour okay and they cost around ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars okay hitting their targets right we don't know what type of cruise missiles Iran used so Iran used cruise missiles as well as well there were three three different types of weapons being delivered the cheapest ones were these ones and then there was cruise missiles and the cruise missiles they were called by all accounts or by account from RT Russian news source and I tend to believe that they would know if anyone would know were Pave cruise missiles. Oops, it's a double S. Cruise missiles. Oops. Cruise missiles. Okay. And I couldn't find how fast these things travel. 
I couldn't do it. I looked it up, but I I don't know, right? I don't know what they were, right? Oh yeah, they also flew over Palestine. Just imagine you being Palestinian and watching hundreds of drones and cruise missiles flying over your land to hit military targets that have been genociding your population like that's the most incredible adrenaline rush there would have been my guess right so there's these ones right now I couldn't find how fast they went unfortunately but the range so this is range is 1650 kilometer range I'm sorry if I'm doing this in you know kilometers not miles but it is what it is um, and I couldn't find how fast they went okay so if we can find if anyone knows let us know we'll write it down some people do, 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 do. some people were saying there were another type of missile um, um, missiles being used which were Koramasha, Koramasha 4 which is range is 2000 and the load is 1500 kilograms like this one's 50 kilograms and these other ones were 1500 but I'm gonna write down the one that I could get the most amount of info for. Well, claims kilometers per hour for yeah. I th this one I uh, where is it? This this number I uh, confirmed at like three different places, right? Pave travels a 600 kilometers per hour range is that? Okay, so this one is 600 kilometers per hour. Cool. And what's its load? I couldn't find out what its load is, but its speed is. 600 to 900 kilometers per hour so let's do an average and go um, 750 750 kilometers per hour 750 kilometers per hour do we know what the load on this thing is do we know what the load on this thing is nice someone else stuka uh, mentioned that as well cool if you could find the load on this thing that'd be great um This one was crazy. It's spelled like this. Uh, Koram Shaw 4. Okay. And its range is 2,000. Okay. Its range is 2,000 kilometers. And it carries a load of 1,500 kilograms. 1500 kilograms okay so load is up here 1500 kilograms right like huge compared to the drones right huge compared to the drones okay there were no uh hypersonic missiles used initially people thought hypersonics were being used but there was no hypersonics and the hypersonic is crazy hypersonic speed is Mach 13 to 15 okay to let you know what that speed is here I'll, I'll write it down and then we'll erase it right Fat ta one this is a hypersonic per sonic okay this is a hypersonic his range is 1500 1400 kilometers 1400 kilometers uh, its load it can carry 350 to 400 kilograms 350 to 400 kilogram payload that's the explosive right it can travel at 15,000 to 18,000 kilometers per hour Mach 13 to 15 okay Mach 13 to 15 which is 15,000 kilometers 
per hour to 18,000 18, kilometers per hour. Okay. If you want to know how long it would take for a hypersonic missile to go from Iran to Israel, right? It's 1,000 kilometers. One, uh, this one's one to, uh, which one, Elder God, is one to five miles per second? Or is it this one you're saying is one to five miles per second? Uh, when, if Iran uses hypersonics, is when Israel uses nukes. Uh, possibly, possibly. But if you want to know how fast this will go, 1,000 kilometers goes at 15,000 kilometers per hour, right? Divide an hour by 15, really, right? That's how fast. What's, what's an hour divided by 15? Four minutes. Four minutes? Four minutes. Delivery from Iran to Israel, target, four minutes, right? Woof. Woof. Right? Four minutes, right? Delivering the load of 350 to 400 kilograms. And they have most likely hundreds of hypersonics. That would be my guess. Okay. Three miles per second. No, Elder God's using miles. Why are you using miles, Elder God? You're supposed to be kilometers. <laughs> You're in the UK. Uh, yoga, chicho, uh, couch, yoga, chicho. They actually shot drones from Lebanon, Yemen, Syria, and Iran. Not only Iran, did they? Okay. But I don't think it was... Um, uh, yeah, because Yemen would go over Saudi Arabia, the drones from there. So they're closer. Lebanon, I know Lebanon, southern Lebanon shot as well, right? UK is imperial? Uh, not officially. Officially, UK, UK is supposed to be metric. <laughs> okay. Um, Stuka. They typically have a launch weight of around 1,500 uh, kilograms and can carry either a conventional or nuclear warhead. The hypersonics, the ballistics, I know they can, right? Which brings us to the ballistic one because that's the one we're going to use because we've got all the info for it plus the cost, right? Okay. So the other one that they use by all accounts was, can you see this for now? Yes, you can. Kehab. Ki Ibar Shikan. Okay, and this is ballistic. This is a ballistic missile. Okay. This one has a range of 14 1450 kilometers. It has a load, it can carry a load of 500 kilograms, which is 10 times that of uh, the drones okay so 400 500 kilograms load uh, it can it travels at Mach 5 right Mach 5 which is 5,963 kilometers per hour 5,963 kilometers per hour okay and the cost for these ones is three hundred thousand dollars okay that's the data i was able to get and you guys filled in some of the rest here right so the trick with iran's attack on israel and as uh couch yoga stated uh Drones uh, were fired from Lebanon, from Yemen, and from Syria as well, right? So drones came in from the north of Israel, came in from Syria, came in from Yemen, and came from Iran, right? Population 9 million. Let's say population of Israel is 10 million. Population of Iran alone is 86 million 90 million Iran is 75 times bigger than Israel right so even if they let's assume 
Iran has way more missiles and drones, bigger population, more factory. We've we figured out that the Western world is not an industrial world in terms of military hardware production from the Russia Ukraine war because Russia kicked it into high gear and they're out producing all of NATO combined by multiple multiple times right I'm pretty sure Iran is the same way as well if you include Yemen here Syria Lebanon they're out producing Israel by a long shot but let's assume Israel and Iran are able to produce the same number of drones missiles ballistic missiles hypersonic missiles Israel needs 75 times more missiles to be able to do the same amount of damage to Iran per square foot that Iran can do to Israel okay that's what the size difference means it also means Iran can hide their military bases and launch sites in way larger area than Israel so if this is more densely populated just the same way Gaza is extremely densely populated a hit here will take out more than a hit here okay it's just logic right uh, real zero wealth. also the fact that Iran produces like what three point uh, three point two million barrels of oil a day. yeah and Iran's energy rich Iran's energy rich P huge huge right huge 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 so this is the data we have now we got full data for this we know they didn't fire any hypersonic missiles so we're gonna take this off we don't have confirmation that they use this by all accounts they use this we don't know the speed of this we're gonna take this down we don't we have the speed of this so we can use this one as well and we got the drones so let's take this and this down and we'll do our mathematics in this zone okay so let's take this down so we got the three waves going on here so this would be wave one okay these ones were going the second slowest so this is wave two and this is wave three okay so that would have been our three waves that Iran sent yeah Ryan on sensor tube is also saying Iran's geography it's like a massive fortress indeed Iran is one of the richest resource geography nature countries in the world right it has everything it has everything it's not all just flat right it's got mountains canyons rivers lakes it's got everything it's is it's bordering ocean on the north ocean in the or sea on the north ocean in the south right it's huge it uh homasha max speed is uh eight to six oh i took it down mock eight to six really if we take eight that's yeah it's crazy and by the way mock one is the speed of sound right and the speed of sound is like 300 uh, uh meters per second i think 300 yeah 300 meters per second a uh, speed uh mock one speed of sound is around 1090 kilometers Per hour or something like this right so mock where were we uh, this one which is uh, da, 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 da. yeah mock 5 which is this uh, 5963 kilometers per hour just divide this by 5 you'll get mock 1 speed right uh, real xenomorph 343 meters per second awesome thank you 1234 kilometers per hour thank you very much uh, real xenomorph right so let's do a little math let's figure out how long it would take because if you were planning this out and by the way I'm treating this the way I would my military board games right because I've done a, I played a lot of military board games and you actually do calculations like this 
movements, right? Especially with axes and not axes and lines, but uh, for squad leader and Panzer Blitz, um, uh, what do you call it? Avalon Hill board games? And if anybody's a board game fanatic, if you're a board game aficionado, you'll know Avalon Hill. And I have a lot of Avalon, well, some Avalon Hill board games, uh, war board, well, some Avalon Hill board games three Avalon Hill war board games one of them played extensively. two of them played extensively one of them was squad leader the other one was Panzer Blitz and this is exactly what you do you have units right that have their movement uh, capacity on their little plaques right so if you're planning on an attack you go okay I want to attack this area and my tanks go at this fast my uh, Jeeps go this fast uh, soldiers go this fast and I want them all to come in at the same time so you do these types of calculations right you do these types of calculations so let's do this first thing we want to do is figure out how long it's going to take the drones to hit Israel they travel at 185 kilometers per hour and this is the formula we're going to use right so I'm going to do this in purple okay so velocity speed is equal to distance over time right and we want to figure out how long it's going to take for these uh, drones to hit Israel to get to Israel right so what we're gonna do we can just cross multiply this up and cross this down so time is equal to distance over speed so distance is we're just gonna use 1000 okay let's because we're gonna keep it standard just from the beginning the closest range uh, or should we do an average what do you guys say should we do an average or should we do 1000 up to you guys uh, 1000 makes the calculation easier but we don't care because we'll use a calculator for this what do you guys want to use what do you guys want to use then reach the speed of like yeah, no we haven't uh, at some point we will unfortunately right at some point we will uh, what are we going to use, gang? Should we use 1,000, 18, uh, uh, 1,200? Maybe 1,000 because we don't take other factors. Okay, let's use 1,000. So the distance is 1,000 divided by 185. Now, the trick to doing physics uh, mathematics mathematics is just syntax right it's algebra physics is units it's all about the units right so distance is kilometers travel sp speed is kilometers per hour so one thing you want to make sure is you're in the same units you can't have kilometers up top and then meters per second in the bottom it doesn't work right so we're in the units that we want to be so if you ever want to make sure you're doing your calculations correctly do a unit check this is kilometers divided by kilometers per hour so if you do division write it sideways right like this if you got fraction on top of a fraction right write it sideways you're gonna go kilometers divided by kilometers per hour and division is really multiplication you just flip it right so you change this to multiplication and then flip this right so this is kilometers times hours over kilometers and we've done tons of these right I've explained this up the yin yang in a lot of videos right we have kilometers times hours over kilometers and you reduce before you multiply so kilometers anything from the top can kill anything from the kilometers kills kilometers you get hours back so the time that we're going to get is going to be in hours right so this is going to be 1000 divided by 185 what's 1000 divided by 185 yash said and I, I do the average between 1000 and 1800 yeah i was going to do the average but people went with uh what do you call it um with 1000 so 1000 divided by 185 you get 5.4 hours 
for it to get there. If we did the average of this, it'd be 1,000 plus 1,800, and then divided by two, you get 1,400, right? So the average for the distance would be 1,400, right? And if you want to calculate for 1,400, you would go 1,400 divided by 185, it's 7.6 hours, right? But since we're going with this, it was uh, 4. Point, what was it? 4. Point, oh, I forgot what it was already. 1,000 divided by 185, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4 hours. 5.4 hours. Now, a lot of people make the mistake and think 0.4 means 40 minutes. It does not, gang. It does not for doing <laughs> Yo yo me says. Yo yo me says. 0.4 does not mean 40 minutes. Okay. Be careful with this because I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So if you want to find out how many minutes that means, what you do is you multiply 0.4 times 60, right? And that gives you 24 minutes. Real Xenomorphs got it. So this is five hours and 24 minutes, okay? Five hours and 24 minutes. It takes to reach Israel, okay? The drones, right? So we got this, oops, we're not gonna take that out. We'll leave this. Our calculation for the cruise missiles is the same thing. It's just the number up top changes, right? The units is the same. So the number up top, the, uh, not the number up top, the number up top is 1,000 kilometers. The number of the bottom is 750 kilometers per hour, right? So 1,000 divided by 750. 1,000 divided by 750. It takes one hour, 33 minutes, right? So this becomes one hour and 33 minutes. And if you want to know how many minutes that is, you go 0 0.33333 3 times 60, you get 20 minutes. So one hour and 20 minutes, right? So these guys take one hour and 20 minutes. Okay. These guys, this one is, we just changed this, the bottom right because it's traveling at 5963 kilometers per hour right so 1000 divided by 5963 is 0.167 Seven, you should go further, seven, seven uh, hours and multiply that by 60, you get 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. So these guys travel at 10 minutes, okay, 10 minutes, All right? So if you're planning your attack, oh, did I do it wrong? Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, because we had it different before. 1,000 divided by 5963. No, I get 0 0.1677. Did I do it wrong? I just smoked old school hash and I feel pretty damn good. <laughs> hilarious so hold on a second did i do this wrong i'll get confirmation from you guys man yash did it he got 0 0.016 uh, one divided by six no it shouldn't be one this is basically one divided by six yeah 0.16 so 
Do we have confirmation on this? Do we have confirmation? So basically, you're taking Paul Benefort 20 on the concept. So basically, you're talking about like, very good. I think this is legit. I think this is legit. So basically, if you wanted to hit Israel at the, because it hit it in the middle, no, 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 it's right. It's right? Okay, okay. Thanks, Yash. That's right, 10 minutes, right? So basically, and by the way, we're going direct line here, right? But ballistic missiles go up foo, and then come down, right? So it's not really 10 minutes. It's more than 10 minutes. But we don't know that because one of the things with ballistic, uh, these ballistic missiles, it said their altitude goes to 135 kilometers. So these guys go up. They go like this. These guys... Their missiles like this, right? Whoa, better... Okay, their missiles like this, draw it like a missile, goes up, right? And then when it comes down, there's splitting of, there's pieces of the missile falling off. When it's coming down, the warhead splits into like four or five or more different warheads hitting down, right? And one of the videos we saw was the missile was coming down and an anti-missile, uh, whatever, Iron Dome thing was shooting up. And this missile went whoop, whoop, bypassed the anti-missile uh, missiles, right? So it just went, whoop, whoop, right? What a maneuver. Crazy, right? So there's really no way to stop those things, right? There's really no way to stop those things. Okay. So basically if you wanted to hit israel uh i've seen this in real life elder god you've seen this in real life multiple rounds simulation impact we use for artillery wow, wow, wow. i've seen this uh, a kind of oblique shot but much more calm much more calm so basically if you wanted to hit israel at 3 a.m right 3 a.m Okay. Go back five hours and 24 minutes. So two, one, 12, 11, 10, right? And then 24 minutes, right? So 10, so 9.36. So you let this these things fly at 9.36. 9 36 p.m. First round takes off, right? You want these guys to arrive around the same time as this because they're you're overwhelming their missile defense, right? Hour and 20 minutes. So you want it to hit a three, right? Impact a three. Let's make this red so we know what's related to what. You want the impact of three to be 3 a.m. Impact. Two and then 20 minutes is going to be 140. 140 a.m. You let these things fly. Okay. Let me make sure I'm doing all these calculations. Right. Sometimes I make little mistakes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, it looks like good. No one's. No one's the blaring at me saying no oh, you did the calculation wrong 936 one and yeah you wanna you want this one yash says it right if you want it to arrive at the same time you let these guys fly 10 minutes before 3 a.m which is at 250 250 a.m 250 a.m. All of a sudden, if you got a few hundred of those, a few hundred of those, a uh, few dozen of these coming at you, arriving at the same time, that's it. Game, set, match. It's over. Right? It's over. 
so this I found interesting uh, main reason is uh, no one died no one died as you can tell I'm not pissed off doing this one because no one died no one died extremely important um, and this just was a show by Iran this was just a show right. American missiles in 19 it's show I saw American missiles in 1991 yeah yeah you would have Gulf War one right Gulf War one that was a gong show first time chat on twitch zit jizit hiya you live i am live i am live indeed that's what we do on twitch i think we just go live on twitch and let's do the count gang uh, let's see what we got who we got where we got we got 24 people on sensor tube we got 39 people on twitch and we got 25 people on rumble salutations gang hope you're doing well hope you're doing well salute 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 Mon double seven militaries have people dedicated to this uh right yeah oh yeah 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 there would be and what you can do i'm pretty sure the, the programs inside the machines whatever you're working with if you want to say arrive at 3 a.m you say so arrive at 3 i'm assuming that's the way the programs were 3 a.m and it tells you when to fire it but i'm pretty sure it's being double checked with um people doing the mathematics of it right you have to be I mean one of the things with uh, being uh, being in the military if you're going to be using any type of high-end uh, technology for example if you're going to be an astronaut they know all the mathematics that they can do the calculations by hand that's what what should what I've seen in all sci-fi movies right the person doing the calculation by hand okay we need to be here da, 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 so they do all the calculations by hand so that's what I'm uh, guessing oh zeitgeist oh zeitgeist your name set light zeitgeist zeitgeist I reckon there'll be a hell to learn on here I follow thank you very much for the follow zeitgeist yeah we do a whole bunch of stuff uh, zeitgeist I, I'm all over the place not just math but at some point we're going to get into a lot of mathematics elder god rumbles great for chat tonight awesome awesome sorry i haven't been reading the chat gang i just wanted to make sure i did the mathematics correctly uh the main thing i was looking for is to make sure i wasn't making any mistakes with my mathematics right and gang do not forget do not forget this is war and all wars are started by lies and as julian assange says if war can be started by lies then peace can be started obtained by the truth so free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies because we all know no war is a moral war right and no war in history that I know of has ever ended like this where you see hundreds hundreds of missiles and drones being fired at an adversary hitting targets accurately without anyone dying this is a, this is an anomaly okay so for more information if you're interested on what's going on with Assange and as you you and me says for humanity for free humanity right see wikileaks.org candlesforassange.com or countless resources on free speech platforms and follow stella assange on substack okay she keeps us updated as to what's going on okay plutonic pluris actually couch yoga what's the difference between the prices of creating cheap drones and getting them um, blown up with real expensive equipment yeah that's one of the mathematics we didn't do these drones cost ten thousand dollars a pop these high-end ballistic missiles cost three hundred thousand dollars a pop from what I could gather 
they didn't use any hypersonic missiles I don't know what the cruise missiles cost I'm guessing probably around less than a hundred thousand right so ten thousand dollar miss uh, drones probably hundred thousand dollar cruise missiles and three hundred thousand dollar ballistic missiles used by all accounts Iran Iran used used up 30 to 50 million dollars okay million Israel and its allies used anywhere between 1.5 to 2 billion dollars to defend themselves against this okay so let's go 1.5 billion dollars and if you want to know the difference between billions and millions between billions and millions right a billion is this one zero 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 right so that's a hundred thousands this is the millions hundred million that's one billion so they use 1.5 billion right? 1.5 billion Iran used anywhere between three to five million let's average it out to 40 million so Iran used 40 million oops I got the wrong place 40 million Forty million, right okay so if you want to know how many more how much more expensive it was for Israel than Iran you can just use these two zeros a hundred times more expensive but what you can do is just go 1.5 billion divided by one five zero 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 divided by 40 million 37.5 times more 37.5 times more money that's not sustainable that's not sustainable for Israel for anyone okay that's done right as we said game set match if you play tennis or this is a checkmate move okay let's see if uh, people will come to the table and uh, look for peace right cost them 30 times more cost them 30 times more 10 to the power of nine zeitgeist denji on twitch i guess it all depends what side of the war you're on yeah depends on what side of the war you're on wow yep israel lost big time big time big time big time couch yoga says on rumble morality is objective morality is objective but when you're able to fire let's say average of 40 million dollars worth of explosives high-end high-tech explosives and not kill anyone and intentionally make sure you didn't kill anyone that was your purpose to make sure you didn't kill anyone not even soldiers of your adversary you give them warning that you're gonna do this that has a way higher moral standing than this right Hezbollah is draining them from the north all the time yeah and Yemen has Israel on a sea blockade nothing goes through going through uh, the Red Sea to Israel okay multiple countries are boycotting Israel okay multiple countries are boycotting Israel um, Israel's in deep shit like it it's in deep shit right? and you can do this as well you know bring on another color you can use green we'll use green population of Israel 9 million million 
population of Iran. Actually, let's say population of Israel, 10 million. Let's round it up. I think it's around 10 million. I've been saying 9 million, but I think it's more around 10 million. I think it's around 9 million now. It's gone down, right? Population of Iran is around 90 million. Population of Iraq, population of Syria, population of Lebanon, population of Egypt, population of the Muslim world around them. Take away Indonesia. Indonesia is mostly Muslim, I believe. Right? But there's 1.5 billion people, Muslims, on the planet. Probably around 1 billion live in Northern Africa and Middle East. Here's the billions. Israel is 9 million here. And Muslim world is one billion. You got to be one suicidal mofo to think that it's okay to commit genocide in a certain segment of the population from that one billion and threaten every country from that region and get away with it forever. It's not going to happen. I hope for the sake of Israelis for the sake of Jews for the sake of those who want peace Israel really considers what it is that they have been doing for the last number of decades and the path that they are on because it is not sustainable Yash, yeah, I think Israel will respond. They're fanatics right now. And uh, they think they are invincible because they have nukes. But if they use nukes, they will blow up the world. And if that happens, uh, it is a new world we are in. And those who live in Israel, who brought this on to the world, there'll be a world win way world win to pay right 200 206 million muslims in indonesia approximately yeah i thought it was 300 million is even worth right first time chat mighty odds on twitch i like those odds crazy odds it's a law of nature hope israel will let it in i i hope this is a is a moment that Israelis wake up to the reality of what's going on okay because just like Ukraine they might be being sacrificed for a bunch of fanatics that are not living in Israel and if they are living in Israel they have a way out very fast to leave fireball behind because if they continue this path it is I don't see it ending any any way that is going to be uh, beneficial to Israelis or the rest of the region or the world right or the world maybe but this is something that the Iranian government has to take into account currently the support for the Iranian government plutonic progress on rumble currently the support for the Iranian government is said to be fragile no I disagree plutonic progress in in a case of war will they rally around the flag or rather dissolve like Iraq uh, plutonic progress I can guarantee you and I'll give anybody 50 to 1 odds right let's say 20 to 1 odds. no I'll give you 50 to 1 odds Iran will not dissolve like Iraq okay Iran is not fragile that is Western propaganda Iran is one of the strongest countries in the world and this solidified it as one of the world powers right now extremely powerful 